Peace, blessings, and love, family. This is the elder out of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with another great and informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. Well, family, this video is going to be about Young Pharaoh Exposed Part 2. I did a live stream last night on Young Pharaoh. Not because I'm hating on him, because he trying to lead our people the wrong way, following Donald Trump and the militia and all these people that don't have no love for us. Not none. I don't know, do we know the history of Donald Trump? <laughs> I'm about to give you some history. Like young Pharaoh say, bring receipts. Well, I'm bringing receipts. I'm bringing receipts, young Pharaoh. Trying to make everybody think Donald Trump is all right. <laughs> Donald Trump is just playing, playing to get black votes. Donald Trump don't care nothing about nobody but some money. He's a businessman. And he also... Uh, is a racist as far as I'm concerned because of his past. His past proves that. And I'm going to play a little clip and I'm going to let y'all listen at this little clip and I will finish the rest of my commentary. Fourteen thousand apartments in thirty-nine different buildings, all mostly white tenants. That is until the Department of Justice took notice in 1973 and slammed Donald Trump and his father Fred Trump with a lawsuit. Trump management was charged with discriminating against African Americans and breaking federal law. Donald Trump, then just 27, was president of the company. The Department of Justice accused the Trumps of violating the Fair Housing Act, arguing they were turning away renters based on race and color. Who tipped them off? Local activists, so-called testers, posing as potential renters at Trump's buildings, mainly in Brooklyn and Queens. Elise Goldweber was a lawyer for the DOJ's Fair Housing section at the time and was called on to handle the Trump case. When the black testers came, they were shown, they, they may have been shown apartments, but were told nothing was available. Whereas when the white testers came, yes, there were, were things that were available. That would be the norm. And if the Trumps did rent to a black person, Goldweber recalls, they would do so only at one building in Brooklyn, reserving the other buildings for white tenants. That the white people would live in Trump Village and the uh, people of color would um, live in Flatbush. And according to the Justice Department, they even had a secret coding system to do it. <laughs> a racial code. Here's how. Some of the applications were marked with a C, which we learned that it meant colored, so that the, the prospective tenants who had come in um, were noted to be colored. Yes, you heard her right. The Department of Justice alleged applications submitted by prospective African-American renters were designated with a secret code, such as C for colored, to indicate a black person was looking to rent. In true Trump fashion, Donald Trump hit back, calling the government's accusations absolutely ridiculous and telling the court, I have never, nor has anyone in my organization ever, to the best of my knowledge, discriminated or shown bias in the renting of our apartments. Trump's lawyer said the government's suit failed to give names, addresses, or specific incidences of discrimination. Claiming the lawsuit caused substantial damage to their business and reputation, Trump took the most unusual step of suing the Justice Department for defamation, seeking $100 million in damages. But that countersuit was tossed out by the judge. Even so, the Trump family maintained they never discriminated based on color, but were instead trying to avoid renting to people on welfare. Two years later, in 1975, Trump and his father settled the case, agreeing not to discriminate against anyone. They yeah, also promised to advertise in publications aimed at minorities, 
familiarize themselves with the details of the Fair Housing Act and notify civil rights groups of apartment vacancies. The Department of Justice claimed victory, but the Trumps never admitted any wrongdoing, reportedly noting the settlement was in no way an admission of a violation. Did you hear that, family? That's who young Pharaoh want us to ride with. That's who young Pharaoh want us to ride with. This man been like that. His daddy belonged to the Nazi or the skinhead or the Aryan nation or whatever. And, and we're going to top this video off? We're going to really top this video off, family? To prove my point? Everybody know about the Central Park Five. You remember the Central Park Five, the five young brothers that was accused of uh, doing, killing somebody or whatever it was. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Excuse me, family. That's the queen of your shit, the cat. But get back to what I'm, the, 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 uh, the Central Park Five. Donald Trump. Wanted to lock them up. Didn't apologize. Say they ought to be locked up. Said all kind of negative things about those young brothers. And he never apologized. He had never apologized for the racist shit they did with the housing bullshit. So all those people was in my comments. Young Pharaoh uh, people. People were saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to clout chase. Donald Trump ain't this. He did that man, his action proved what he is. How in the hell are you going to ride with somebody like that? Tell me. And I'm, I, I ain't heard nothing from Seti. <laughs> you know, Seti, I, you know, I don't know why he ain't checking him out. But I'm checking him out. And I'm breaking, I, I just brought receipts and truth. Ain't nothing in this video lying about Donald Trump. That's right. Number one, young Pharaoh, you 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 claim you's a a great investigator where you you should have investigated Donald Trump before you went to riding with him. <laughs> That's right. Cause if he thought like that back in the seventies about black people, he he. You think he didn't change his mind now? If he thought like that in the 70s about us, you think he changed his mind now? <laughs> Case closed. Although, listen at this video, put up the likes and shares. Now, now I know I'm the comment section. <laughs> You're going to have some non-believers. You're always going to have some non-believers. If young Pharaoh tells... His followers, the sky going to fall down tomorrow. They'll be running like a bunch of chickens. Peace, blessings, and love, and I'm out.